Rico, welcome back. Great to see you again. Our last interview was back in September 2023. So it's been a decent amount of time. And that was our yeah. second one. First one being back in June. So again, quite a bit of your progress documented here. Excited to hear just how much more you've progressed since our last talk. For the viewer, for the listener, for some context, this is how you were doing during our last interview. So what I wrote on Twitter was from selling candy in high school to closing multi thousand dollar deals in AI and video production. Rico's social media content led to him recently landing a 2000 per month deal at just 17 years old. So that was where you were at back in September. How's everything progressed for you since? Everything's been progressing super great. I'm on track to make 5K just alone this month at 18. And yes, I turned 18 back in December. So, I mean, now I got to go even bigger because I'm 18 now. 17, I was like, okay, right. you're cool. You're 17. But now that I'm 18, it's like, go harder, bro. So I literally calculated everything up and I've made $20,000 from TRW. So, I mean, like I was around 17, 18 and just making that amount of money online without college is crazy because some of my friends, they're, they're 20K in debt and I'm 20K up. So that is just like super mind blowing. And like, I'm already on track to hit 5K this month. I literally calculated up like last night, I'm like 4.9 something and just more even wins gonna come. So 4.9K, I mean, but we're just, uh, how much into the month now? 11th, it's the 11th of January. So you're saying for January, you're on track to make 5K and already at 4.9K? I'm not at 4.9K yet. Cause it's just 50% of stuff like that. But like the deals that I'm signing, I'm signing multiple four figure deals for multiple videos for my services, which is user generated content, talking to content and just marketing as a whole. And I mean, I'm signing the deals with percentage. Um, the main thing I'm doing right now is percentage. I don't want the flat rate anymore. I want like the percentage deals because my work is doing great and I want to capitalize even more off that. Okay. Super solid. Now I would like more in depth since September. As much as you remember, month by month, what kind of lessons you implemented from the content creation campus? What have you done for client outreach? Did you get maybe some recommendations uh, or referrals from other clients that you had? So all the client you were the work you were doing, everything, again, just month by month. What do you remember in terms of progress? During that time, it felt like everything went so fast. But now that I look back, it's like wow, bro, I just went month by month. It it just I was grinding every single day, just going hard. You, like you guys would see, if you know me, I was grinding every single day. My mom would be like, hey, Rico, you're going to take today off? Or Rico, you have to have a schedule. I'm like, no, bro, I'm trying to build things. So back then, I was barely making 3K. Now, since I put in the work back then, I'm able to make 5K and then just looking to go up every single month in 2024. So that is, that is my goal. So after September, I just really went even harder like just even harder that brand I was working with. I got great results with them. I brought a multiple ideas. I'm still working with them on the percentage deal. That's the main thing because some of their videos it blew up, literally blew up millions of views that I got for their page. And that's going to translate into sales. So I want to get a percentage of that it's a reincurring it's service based. So it's reoccurring every single month. So if I get like few deals, I'm basically set for months on end. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And I know I will. So, okay, cool. So we can go more on that trajectory then. You're saying once someone starts out with user generated content, it's fine to take flat rates for a while, but once you improve your skill set, once you actually develop in that skill, it's fine to start charging, uh, not just retainers, but percentages, right? Cause that's how you scale. I'd imagine. Yeah. So me, I started with flat rates. I wasn't taking like those crazy high, high deals. I was taking anything just to get work and show my results. That's what most people get wrong. They want to go for those crazy high deals in the beginning, but you have to realize nobody knows you and stuff like that. If you are going to go get heart surgery, you'd want the best heart surgeon that got like, that did multiple surgeries. You don't want to get the guy that's barely going to do his first one. You're going to be like, oh no, bro, get away from me. Like it's the same thing with businesses, business people that have brands and businesses, they treat it like their son, their baby, whatever. And they don't want just like some amateur, I guess they want the professional that has results and knows what he's talking about and just confident in himself. So even when I started, I still had that confidence because I built up my personal brand. So that's like, I guess that didn't like give me a head start, but it just gave me the extra confidence in myself that whatever I do, whatever I like work on, 
it's going to convert and it's going to help out the brands and blow them up. And the results speak for themselves. They have. And I have like multiple screenshots of thousands and millions of views. And then now in 2024, I'm going to be running a few of my own pages for these brands. And then that's where the percentage kicks in. And I mean, let's see what happens. All right. So is it mainly the confidence you develop of doing this for a prolonged period of time that allows you to work with higher end clients? Or do you actually get testimonials from your previous clients? How do you actually end up scaling uh, to the higher end clients? It's just the results. Like, it doesn't matter if you've been doing it for one month or if you've been doing it for two years. It doesn't matter. It's the results. Results speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. If you're going to work with a client, deliver, over deliver. It doesn't matter. Even if you're not like undervaluing yourself, just deliver because at the end, they're going to realize, oh, we can't work out with, we can't work without this guy. Let's bring him on. So that's what they're doing to me. They're like, hey, bro, we like doing working with you. We're going to give you a high percentage rate so you can stay with us. It, it, like if we win, you win. That's literally what it is. And I'm like, okay, bet, cool. So I'm happy with that. To land the bigger deals, you just have to keep going out. Keep putting yourself out there. Get the reps, get the volume, all that stuff. That's what I did, and it works every single time. Okay. Very solid. What kind of an example can you give for recent work you've done? Don't have to disclose the client, but maybe what area, uh, what niche you did it in? And how did you actually record it? Was it, are you still doing it from home or do you have a different setup now? So now I'm doing interviews like UGC related. That's my thing. I've, I love talking. I love talking to people. So I'm like, oh, bet I meshed the both. I started posting now. I was like, hey, brands. I started outreaching the brands. Hey, brands, I could do this for you. Here's some interviews. I did it for the pre- previous brand I worked with. I brought it up to them. They liked it and it blew up. So I was like, all right, bet it works. So let me just go all in. If something works, just call in milk the cow whatever something <laughs> but yeah okay uh, and in terms of setup what you're still doing everything from home so now mainly i am doing it from home but i still have to go out and film like for the interviews i gotta go like and get random people i go to like this local like shopping center mall whatever there's usually a lot of people there i go out and record wherever whenever and wherever i can and i'm just trying to get out more like because i stay at home a lot and i'm trying to go out to actually talk with people and it's, it works. I do it for work. So I get it. It's a win-win for both. I get to talk to people and socialize, not just be like a, a hermit, I guess. And then I even get paid to do it. So, I mean, I like it. A mix of both. Come back home, home's the, the home base, and I get to work. Okay. So I would like to ask some, some more on that. How you mentioned <clears throat> before before going out and socializing people with people before you were doing what you're doing now that implies you spent a lot of the time at home and i'm guessing just purely focusing on building or improving in the skill set uh, in user generated content probably just what going to the gym school maybe and work was that the your main priorities at the time and how did that how did you get how did you get through that is the wrong way of asking it because some people, I realize I'm rambling. What I'm trying to get at here is some people might some people might say it's unhealthy just to be at home working all the time, and you need to be going out and socializing with people, maybe relaxing. So, did you feel that way at the time when you were there at home, basically quote unquote grinding, or did you know it was necessary? And yeah, what was just the mindset at that time? I never thought of relaxing or anything like that. I mean, I was home. I like, I'm not saying I like being home, but I like being home. I like to work on my craft. I like to do what I do. I mean, I have fun. The main thing that I guess like helped me and not be like, cause some people say, oh, they get lonely and stuff like that. It, it doesn't affect me. I feel like I have a strong mental frame, but the main thing is the real world community. Like every day I log into the chat, it's, I see like familiar, like not faces, but like chat names. I'm like, oh bro, what's up bro? And like, see them, it's, it's just like real connections. It's like, oh, what's up? How you doing? And just catch up with them. That's like the actual community. They're on the same page. They're on the same like path that I'm on. It's similar in like multiple ways. So it's like it's super relatable to them. The main thing that I worked on while I was grinding at home is just my craft, my work, get better, get the volume, get the reps, get the results. And then also my body and my relationships, the three pillars. So in all realms of human endeavor, you got to be 
a feared opponent in all realms of human endeavor. And that mm-hmm. I really like stand by that. I'm trying to like just do that every single day. And recently I've been at it for like a month now. I'm in boxing. So going harder, even the training before I was doing calisthenics, I don't go to a gym. I'd run to a park. Like they just have a pull up bar and like do whatever there. I'd run and get fresh air, get sunlight. That's what I try to do every single day. Like even before this meeting, when I woke up, I go get sunlight before anything. I, I feel like if I, I stay home a lot, but I'm like more happier than most of these people that go out every single night and just like wasting themselves, I guess you could say. And then to talk about the relationships aspect, I built a closer relationship with my family, my mom and my dad in particular. And I'm trying to build it even stronger with my brothers. So I feel like staying home has it as staying home has its advantages. Um, I don't really see a downside to it because if you stay home and you grind and you're able to build all those three things at the same time, it's just gonna elevate you to the top. All right. Okay, love that. And I want to see your perspective on this. So there was a question I saw recently in the real world, and I want to get your perspective on this. Someone was saying that currently in their life, they don't have anyone with the same mindset as them. And it feels kind of lonely to be going through this process of working and uh, just doing everything alone. So... What would you say to someone who thinks that way? Would you have an answer for them? The best thing about the real world is the community because you're not alone. You have multiple people that are like-minded like you. You can literally talk with them every single day. Most of the time, if you go around the same times, the same people are going to be in the chats because that's like the time that they go. And you're not alone. You're really like, like, you're part of a bigger battle. You, all of you guys, wherever they're at, they're all trying to do the same thing, same goals as you. Just take care of their family, be financially free and mentally free and all that stuff. So you're not alone. That's the main thing that people always say, like, oh, bro, you're alone. I, Me personally, I don't really talk to any of my old friends. Like, I just God just took them out of my life because I already know I'm on a bigger path. But in TRW, I feel like they're more of my friends and stuff like that. I talk to them on a daily basis. The community, I feel like that's, like, super important. Some people, they do, like, take the lessons, copy them, and put them on YouTube. But you're missing like the main thing. You could ask the professor questions. You could ask your com- like your fellow, I guess, classmate questions and stuff like that. So the real world community is literally what separates it from everything else. And I don't feel like that because I guess I have the community. Also, at the same time, nobody's really grinding like me. But I still have my family. I can still talk to them. Not it might be off subject, but I mean, you still have people around you. If you don't have anybody around you and you're by yourself, you still have the the real world community. Right. And how I see it as well is as you continue putting in work into yourself and the endeavor that you chose to do, as long as you're putting work into it, eventually you will meet people on the same path as you in real life. So it's human nature to want to surround yourself around winners. And in order for you to resonate with them, you actually need to become a winner yourself. So again, all that work that you put into yourself will lead to you then being on the same path as them, on the same trajectory, and at a similar level in your journey, probably. So Mm. yeah, and then you just attract people like that. And you build up a group of like-minded individuals in real life after having put in the work as a lone wolf yourself. So it's not a lone wolf path for the rest of your life. It's just maybe the first half a year one year i say something like that depends how much work you put in in that time but yeah eventually you do find people like-minded people in real life agreed yeah i totally agree like me personally i'm not really looking for the money anymore i'm I'm looking for like a network and stuff like that there was this guy he's a local real estate guy he's even like a lawyer his families are lawyers and stuff and he even has like connections with other re- like real estate people so my old bed so i reached to him I landed him as a client. I'm like filming for him. I'm editing his videos and I'm not getting paid crazy amounts, but that's not really important to me because it's just the connection. And he's like local and stuff like similar mindset. He's like just a three years older than me. So I'm like, Hey bro, if you could like just guide me and coach me up just in case, like if I ever want to do real estate or I, like now I know somebody. So like the winners are like coming out and stuff like that. Also, you you have trw there's a room full of winners inside there like people win every single day inside the real world and they're posting their wins every single day and then once you become winning and winning at least in the consecration plus ai campus you get into a group chat it's literally only for the top 25 out of 200 000 students 
me, I was on it for like seven months straight, but I got dropped. I'm getting back on this month in January. So it's going to be for February. And you're surrounded by winners in there. Like there's literally just a winner's circle. I guess you could say I've been winning for so long and just consistently that like even the professor inside there, Mr. Pope, he's like, hey, Rico. So, bro. So I just been grinding everything. I've been helping out. And I became a captain inside the Consecration Plus AI campus. So that was super great. Now I'm even surrounded by more winners and stuff like that at like a higher level. And just winners just, you they attract to you. The winning sense just attracts to you and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You just have this like, um, Pope calls it, the professor is at the Consecration Plus AI campus. He calls it G Aura and stuff like that. And I do feel like I'm developing that because just everything that's going on, like more things are attracted to me and stuff like that. And then the negativity just, moving its way out of my life. Mm-hmm. All right. Makes sense. And let's see. What, how do your parents react to everything you're doing? Because it seems uh, your room's looking different. So you're probably often remodeling, right? In order to get maybe a new scene for one of the videos you're shooting. Are they fine with you doing what you're doing or have they shown any kind of resistance to it in a way in the beginning they did like every parent would i was in high school i graduated i was like i'm not going to college i've literally made that clear i'm not going to college i don't i don't think it's for me and stuff like that it's not that i wasn't smart i literally graduated with a 3.0 gpa and like honors and whatever and stuff like that extracurriculars but colleges didn't seem like it was for me it just seemed like a waste of time i don't want to waste any money either my mom the main thing was like oh your first two years are free for college. I'm like, okay, cool, still, whatever. It's still going to waste my time. I could dedicate all this. And now I'm dedicating to this. I'm going to be making more than literally everybody in my household that they've been doing it for multiple years. And I don't say that to like put them down or brag or anything. It's just to show like, okay, look, I went all in and look what's happening. So in the beginning, they were hesitant. Like, oh no, you got to go to college. Particularly my mom, my dad was like, like just agreeing. Like, oh no, bro, you got to go to college and stuff like that. I was like, no, look, look, I'm already making money. I've already made like a few thousand dollars in cent- since then. I've showed them the checks. I'm like, mom, look, here's my thing. Mom, here. Just results speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. That's literally the main thing when it comes to like telling your parents, oh, I don't want to go to college or I, I don't want to do school. I do advocate to finish high school. It's literally, it's not that hard. It's, n- it's super easy. Work on your dis- discipline, build it up. Work on your social skills, everything. Make the best of it. I, I'm not even going to lie. I enjoyed school. College, I would probably, I don't know. But the main thing that I convinced my parents to, to let me like do this full time, basically stay home full time, is just the results, the paychecks and everything else that comes with it. Just showing them my work. That's all you have to do. So now they're, my mom's like, oh, you went to college? Like just as a joke, but she is a little semi-serious. So it's like, I'm like, nah, I'm already making money. And they see it, they know, they're like, okay, cool. And I'm even helping them out and stuff like that. May even buy my dad a car. It's not gonna be a crazy, crazy car, but it's gonna be like a little car and stuff like that. And regarding my room, yep, I, I want to redo my whole room, stuff like that, because this is basically my studio. This is basically like, it's, this 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 whole room makes me money. I make money from just this room, so I gotta put more money into it to get more money out. Even this Mac, this MacBook I'm on, I'm about a 2022 M2 MacBook Pro, literally with all the wins that I've garnished from just doing what I'm doing. Everything just everything's from the wins. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very solid. And actually, speaking about your room, is that a poster of you in the background? <laughs> yeah, let me, let me do the mirror. Yeah. So that was from my senior year. I played football all four years. My first year, I was going hard. I was grinding it. Like, when I put my mind to something, I just go all in and grind. And then I feel like, I guess I grinded too hard. That's what the doctor told me. So I was like, all right, man. And I injured something in my toe. So I literally couldn't walk or run. It just hurt me. And then that was during COVID. So everything just like was like blah, 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 bad. So I didn't play football for two years, but then I, I never quit though. I was still part of the team and stuff like that. I still helped out because I'm not a quitter. I wouldn't start something and then quit. I don't know how people come inside tier W, start it, and then they quit or they even they caught from campus, campus and stuff like that. If you're going to start something, especially inside TRW, go all in and literally just stick to it. So yeah, that's me from football. Senior year is probably like a, around a year ago now, which is crazy. Time flew, but I mean... I've been grinding that time, so yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, super cool. <clears throat> a very cool poster. Uh, I love the design. All right. Thank you. Now, what else do we have then? So, 
How different is your average day from a last interview? Has it changed at all? Or are you still doing fairly similar things to before? It's relatively the same, just with more focus and more stress tolerance. I'm able to do so much more things than I am now. Like if I were to get my like my year ago self, because I, I started this like a year ago, literally a year ago. And if I put my year ago self into the position I am today, he's going to crumble. The old Rico is going to crumble. Now, what I am now, I'm way more stress tolerant. I'm able to handle more things and like just go all in, go hard. That's the main thing right now. I'm going to run like multiple pages of like brand pages by myself. I'm going to build them up by myself. going to have to like post every single day, just be consistent on all that. And there's nothing really different. Just I've been grinding every single day, getting 1% every getting 1% better every single day. That's something my football coach told me. Get one day better. That's literally what he said. And mind right, body tight. Just a couple, like everything that he said in football, I translated it into like business and going hard. So <clears throat> my day, it's like I said, relatively the same. Now it's going to be a little more different because I'm going to have to be going out more frequently to get the interview clips. So that's the main thing. I mean, I even traveled for like this video for a UDC video. It's a train video. So I had to go take my local train and like ride across towns and stuff like that. And they love me. They want to work long term. So I'm like, okay, but so it's just the same as now. I just got to manage my time better because I have more responsibilities and stuff like that. And I can't, I can't crumble. I just got to go hard. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, this is something I should have asked earlier. For the income you've talked about, mm -hmm. would you be able to provide proof on your phone? Yeah, man. I mean, I wouldn't, there's no reason I could fake this. Like I could go get screenshots yeah, yeah. off the internet, whatever, and fake it. But geez, every single money I get, I always screenshot it. I don't know if you can see it. This is I always 100. screenshot every single win just to keep my proof, just to see my progress. I've hit so many goals. It's crazy. Like just income goals and stuff like that. I broke the five figures, which was crazy for me. Like when I started, I had less than like three. So I mean, it's crazy. They're just literally all the wins that I've carnished over the years, the years, the months, the weeks and stuff. And I'm just looking to get even more. Like with the percentage deals I'm doing, I don't know how much I could do. It's literally up to me. So if I fail, it's on me. But if I do great, it's on me. So right. next interview, the wins is going to be even crazier and stuff like that. And I'm excited, man. Cool. Uh, what's the single biggest payment you've gotten so far? The single biggest payment, or let me get it, let me get it. My biggest payment to date was 1.3 grand. You can see it right there. And then geez, in, once you get inside the real world, you can literally go to my profile since I'm a captain in the consecration plus AI campus, click on my profile, click on my hero's journey, scroll all the way to the bottom. Cause there's going to be a lot, there's going to be a lot. And then you can see where I started. I started with 150, et cetera, all that stuff. Now I'm getting literally four figure payments. And I have another one booked up and then I have even more that they're going to be sending as 50%. So 500 of like a thousand and stuff like that. So multiple figures, these four figures and stuff like that. And right. it's only going to go up, especially with the affiliate or the, the percentage deals and stuff like that. I'm looking to hit four, maybe even five figures with those affiliate deals. So that's my main goal right now. All right. Awesome there. And where do you see this <clears throat> scaling for you then? How much more can you actually scale and what's your goal for the future? My goal is literally just to build up all this social proof. These brands that I'm running, I want I'm gonna I'm gonna do great with them, get even more results and be like, all right, so I did all this. I could do it for your brand. I'm gonna go for even bigger brands and stuff like that. Hopefully, not hopefully. I'm looking to see how I could transition into a UGC agency because there's these agency owners. I, I know I'm way better than them. I know I could manage a team way better than them. I know I could do so many things better than them. Like even when I first started UGC, I knew I was way better than most of these creators that are making like money in thousands of dollars every single month. It's just, I needed to go hard and like get the results, get everything like that. So I know if I do the same for the agency, I'm going to blow everybody out the water and stuff like that. I mean, my talking ability, I've, I'm a pretty great speaker for only being 18 years old. I'm able to present myself. I'm able to control a room. I've, in high school, I even did like these live streams, like every single day I'd go on live because we had like a news station, whatever news. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I even give state, I even gave speeches in front of thousands of students. So, I mean, I like talking, I'm able to talk under pressure and stuff like that. And 
I mean, if I put my mind to something, again, I'm going to go all in, I'm going to go hard, and I'm going to make sure I succeed. So that's me. And who knows? Maybe I'll have my agency up and running and stuff like that. But that's the main goal of the agency, just to scale it even further. I want to hit 10K just solo by myself. And after that, just we'll see what happens. Okay. Very solid. Okay. So in terms of questions, um, I'm very happy with that. Uh, good catch up, great progress. So I'm pretty sure we ended last interview the same way. For people who are unsure about joining the real world because they're thinking they might get scammed for the $50, what advice would you have to those people? There's so much social proof of everybody winning inside the real world that if you don't get in, you're scamming yourself. You're scamming yourself out of like the possibilities that you can make literally 10x your like your investment. When I first joined, I was like, bro, $50. But after I joined, I've literally 10x my I've 10x my investment. I made well over six thousand dollars because I've been inside for a year. And now I made twenty thousand dollars inside the real world. So I mean, it's crazy. I'm only looking. To, I'm looking to make twenty thousand per month, and it's all going to be attributed to the real world. And once I do that, you best believe you guys are going to see me everywhere. So on that note, I mean, I feel like I covered much everything. If you have any questions, you literally DM me. I'm a captain inside the real world. I'm not going to like, oh, you have to join. It's if you don't join, then it's up to you. Just lose because as a winner, I need losers. It's the yin and yang. I need everything. So take it as you want to. Awesome. All right. And now if people want to find out more about you or contact you, why can they do so? My Instagram is Rico Rickso. It's going to be linked in the description. And on that note, raise. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Rico. Great talking yes, to you again. And yes, look sir. forward to the next one. All the best. Yes, sir.